Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method, the world's most powerful smart money buy and sell level detection system. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back CTKS family. You're here to enhance your smart money edge, to know where the algorithms are buying and selling so you can profit like smart money. I'm grateful to be sharing this time together. If you find the content helpful, don't forget smash that like button and please subscribe to become part of our global family. Let's run the numbers. In the main markets in the past trading session, utilities did the best, followed by healthcare and energy, communication services and industrials were the worst performing sectors. We can see Tesla, Apple, Microsoft and Nvidia, as well as Meta, were all down. The main markets are still experiencing extreme greed. The crypto market was basically mixed, but Doge and SHIB did quite well, XRP and ADA retraced. We can see that a little bit more effectively, Doge was up 4.53%, XRP down 2.93%. The greatest gainers top 100 past 24 hours, Mask, Maker, Casper, XDC, Doge, Uni, Dot, Ton and Theta. The Greatest Losers Top 100 Past 24 Hours GMX, Stellar, XRP, NIA, COMP, CRV, HBAR, Injective and KuCoin Token. In yesterday's video, I noted that Doge was looking particularly interesting. That was because of its Objective Dynamic Market Structure, also called CTKS Structure. In yesterday's video, I said Doge could be quite good to look at and I basically leaned in to Doge as well. But why did I say it was good to lean into? We've seen the broad crypto market retrace. Doge did quite well, but why? It's actually due to CTKS structure, objective dynamic market structure. When we turn on the smart money buy and sell level indicator through the CTKS method monthly service, we can see that Doge yesterday had so much support underneath it, unlike the other cryptos that were experiencing a lot of overhead resistance. There was also a bit of a fresh air gap from 706 all the way up to 767 and that is a very profitable gap. The CTKS method draws up these SLs or Stanfield levels in a very specific way. There's a scientific methodology behind it. They may look like normal just horizontal support and resistance levels but they are not. The CTKS method is the world's most advanced smart money buy and sell level detection system that you can apply to any price chart. To draw the lines on a price chart that the indicator gives you, you require level 1 certification and level 2 certification. And the beautiful thing, you can do it yourself. The indicator just saves time. Level 1 certification gives you the foundations and foundations are incredibly important. Without the right foundations, you just don't know what you're doing. Level 1 standard certification gives you the concepts and the foundations you need to build the skyscraper of knowledge that comes in Level 2 standard certification. And you can see there's a lot in there. Many people don't have the time to apply Level 1 and Level 2 standard certification into their charts. That's why the monthly service was created, which creates these trading view indicators. And it just takes literally a second or a couple of seconds to add it to your chart and just to turn it on, to know where smart money is buying and smart money is selling. Does the CTKS method apply to stocks? And Forex, yes it does. It applies to just everything, any price chart that can be represented in candlesticks, it applies to. One thing to pay particular note of when we look at dollar yen, which is of course in Forex, what we saw was a very heavy resistance line, a smart money sell level at 141.95. 
and we saw dollar yen was just beautifully supported around this level. When you get a fresh air gap, it will move, price will move up to the next SL, and we can see it was tapped right there. If you're liking the content so far, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And if you're new to the community, a very warm welcome and you might just like to say hi in the comments so we can welcome you. But when you have strong resistance and a fresh air gap, typically price will need to consolidate for a while, no matter what is going on. We've previously covered this off with things like Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Also the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. This is the power of SLs or Stanfield levels. Rule 654, prices move Stanfield level to Stanfield level or SL to SL. This is what we've seen recently with dollar yen. And also Dogecoin. You may not be able to see it because of the black background, but there's a substantial amount of smart money resistance from 766 up to 769. There's multiple layers there. In level two certification, you learn about SLs, but also about SCs. SLs are Stanfield levels, not stop losses. And SCs are Stanfield zones, which are aggregations of SLs. When price is just hovering around or near a cluster of SLs or a SZ, this is a very good time to get in on a particular chart. And it doesn't matter what that chart represents. It could be a commodity, it could be Forex, it could be stocks, indices, crypto. It's absolutely irrelevant. Knowing where smart money is buying and where smart money is selling is incredibly important. Otherwise, it's just guesswork. Many thanks to Art for your very kind comment. SLs or Stanfield levels represent inherent market structure. That market structure is consistently changing. It is not static. That's why it's called Objective Dynamic Market Structure or ODMS. Many members of our beloved global family love to buy at SL support levels. Art, who has been trading and investing for nearly 40 years, says, I'm amazed every day how price respects the SL lines and zones. The CTKS method is the only methodology that produces these SLs or Stanfield levels. And we prove it out each and every day, seven days a week. It's very important to understand that no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. As Bitcoin was soaring up, what happened to the alts? They came soaring up as well. But as Bitcoin came down, what happened to the alts? It came soaring down as well. One thing that we note is relative strength and relative weakness. We can see Bitcoin's gravitational pull just overlaid on the alts here. Ethereum is weaker, XRP weaker, BNB weaker, ADA weaker, Solana is stronger. Doge is weaker and Tron is really weaker. We just looked at gravity, let's look at relativity. When we look at Bitcoin relative to the alts, we can see Bitcoin is down 1.39%, Ethereum down 1.23%. We can see XRP down quite substantially. One thing to note is Doge is doing really quite well. And that's because of the objective dynamic market structure or CTKS structure. We have a rule which says CTKS structure overrides. This is exactly what it's overriding. When I look at these charts, I'm interested where all the SLs are playing out and the SCs are playing out. After a while, you see these charts and you know what is going on. The focus should always be try to pick the charts with as much support underneath them as possible. If price moves adversely, at least you're protected. If you find that there are other charts where there's really not much support, but fresh air gaps below the current price, you know you saw what happened with dollar yen. That can move in the inverse direction. And those fresh air gaps can get filled very, very quickly. And that's something to be concerned about. It's very important to be synchronized in with the market when you're applying your knowledge of SLs to buy and to sell. 
All charts are intercorrelated and interconnected. When we throw on the CTKS method indicator, we can see smart money levels here. I'll just draw the SCs around those. SCs or Stanfield zones give you an understanding of where the SLs are hovering around. You can often see price come in to test these safety nets when price is above an SL or a collection of SLs, we call those areas below price safety nets because that's exactly what they are. In that case, smart money will come in and accumulate and we've seen that time and time again. When price is above an SL, it's in all probability moving to the next SL. When it gets there, it could be rejected because they are, after all, sell levels. Understanding where objective dynamic market structure is, is an absolute godsend. It takes so much stress out of buying and selling. You understand that sell areas typically cause rejections in price and buy areas typically cause rejection in sells. Bitcoin is currently trading at 29,934. If we can get above this SL level here, we're in all probability going to make it up to 30,411. But if we lose this particular area, after all, it is a sell area. If we lose that, we're moving down to say that 29,639 or even lower to the 29,558 mark. When you understand the price simply moves SL to SL, if it doesn't have the strength to go above, it is in fact going below. All charts are intercorrelated and interconnected. The tier one charts, such as the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the VIX, the DXY, Bitcoin and gold, and so forth, they are very important charts. They're the global engine of financial markets. When yields come up, that puts positive price momentum on the DXY, which typically puts negative price momentum into the major indices and Bitcoin as well. When yields spike, and especially if yields and the DXY spikes, it's not good for commodities. Understanding these relationships is only something that can be observed over time. Inside the method service, we have a video on each one of these tier one, tier two and tier three charts, and also the trading view indicator. Personally, what I do with the 27 indicators, I just put a group of eight charts together and then I throw the indicator on each chart. I'm looking for very specific things and you will notice the members of the service, the US 10 years, something interesting is happening there. Please let me know what it is in the comments. To get into synchronization, look at many charts and just overlay the indicators like this. What you've seen with the US, well, dollar yen pair, we can see that it came up to a smart money sell area and it's been rejected from that. But it came up so quickly because there was a fresh air gap there. Of course, the way that I look at these charts is with all the different levels on. But these levels are only shared inside the service. For example, when I throw on the indicator, you can see what we talked about with dollar yen today. Getting an overall appreciation of where the market is going is really important in order to get synchronized. Kate and I would like to express our deep appreciation and gratitude for your being here and for you watching this. You're investing your time and energy to become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. It's just fantastic. And anything that Kate and I can do, any questions that you have, please leave them in the comments. It takes time, effort and energy to accomplish anything in this world. Therefore, if you're just starting out on your journey, it will take time. And the problem with financial markets is we basically have to unwire our natural human reactions. Which is, if you see red, people typically run. You have to become like a firefighter and run into the burning building. That's what smart money does. If you're going through a life pullback at the moment, and many people inside our global family, more than 16,000 strong, are going through life pullbacks. Some are pretty severe. 
If you're experiencing a life pullback, please know that our love and healing thoughts are with you. You are not alone. We all get life pullbacks. A powerful way to deal with any life pullback is to focus on positive excellence. Life pullbacks cause problems. Seek to solve each of those problems with positive excellence. Just one at a time. It's very difficult to solve a massive problem at once, but you can focus on the smaller parts, just chunk it. Life is always throwing curveballs at us. What you'll find, the CTKS Creek can really help you out. As it's the weekend, if there are any positive excellence things that you would like me to talk about in upcoming episodes, please let me know in the comments. Always remember, life pullbacks give you strength for the next life rally. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.